Sami today. We are the proud parents of Musa Ahmed. Musa, you are so awesome. We all are celebrating you. We all are celebrating you here today. We all are celebrating you here today. It's our pleasure having you here with us on our special day. Thank you so much for joining us. I think I feel better like that. Say it. Say it. Snacks here for the kids and for those who have a sweet tooth. क्योंकि कुछ हमारे मेहमान उर्दू नहीं समझते इसलिए हम कोशिश करेंगे कि इंग्लिश भी यू हैव अ वंडरफुल इवनिंग विद अस इट वाज अ चैलेंज टेकिंग बॉयज टू कुरान क्लास इट इट वाज अ चैलेंज टेकिंग आवर बॉयज टू कुरान क्लास अनलाइक गर्ल्स थैंक यू यासमीन यू आर सच अ एंड वी हैव अ लवली सेटअप ऑफ स्वीट्स एंड स्नैक्स फॉर द किड्स एंड फॉर दोस who have a sweet tooth thank you shagufta for doing such a beautiful arrangement it was a challenge taking boys to the quran class unlike girls yasmin you were such a good kid but since brother walid has started <laughs> teaching quran it's not difficult anymore musa always gets ready on time with a soccer ball or a basketball but sometimes he forgets to bring quran with him One time while I was picking them up, I saw them playing soccer with Brother Wadi. Thanks, Brother Wadi, for making it so much fun. Thanks, Brother Wadi, for making it so much fun. Thanks for driving from Richardson during the rush hour. Thanks for driving from Richardson all the way to Calcutta during rush hours. Thank you for your time and thank you for your effort. Allah may bless you and Allah may bless your family. Amen. अल्लाह ताला हम सबको कुरान पढ़ने कुरान को समझने और कुरान पर अमल करने की तोफ़ी अदा फरमाए आमीन बिफोर यू लीव डोंट फॉर गेट टू सी मी आई हैव टू कलेक्ट द चेक फ्रॉम यू टू पे द बिल Don't be afraid I was just joking. We have some Pakistani mithai for you. So abhi kar okay. The Musa sab khat ho gaya. Yes. Aaudu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ar rahman allama alquran. خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تدغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تقصروا الميزان والأرض وضع حال الأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من سلسال كالفخار وخلق الجان من مارج من نار فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يخرج منهما لؤلؤ والمرجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان ولغ الجوار المنشآت في في البحر كالعالم فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان 
Okay, hurry up. <laughs> Turn it off. Musa, you look at me. I need to look at Musa the entire time. Musa is the one who keeps me calm. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. <laughs> Thank you for Yasmin. Thank you to Yasmin the and most. my beloved parents. Thank you to Yasmin and my beloved parents for those kind words. My name is Zed, and I am Musa's older brother, who has, mashallah, recently finished the Quran. None of this song. What? It's 6.58. Okay, then stop talking. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Hello? Can you please turn off your mic? Alright, go, go, Tom. Hurry up. Okay. <clears throat> Hurry up. <laughs> Wait, alaikum, everyone. Thank you all for coming to Musa's Hello? Ha, huh, my general? Baska, no. Okay, can stop saying anything. <laughs> okay, Assalamualaikum. Do you think you can hear me so I can go to the back? I have to speak. I knew, I knew she <laughs> 
He's so happy. He's so happy. Does he ever
after Isha will start the program. Brother Walid is going to be the
Yeah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We would like to welcome you to Musa's army. We are the proud parents of Musa Ahmed. Musa, you are so awesome. <laughs> we are we all are celebrating you here today. It's our pleasure having you here with us today on our special day. Thanks for joining us. हम कोशिश करेंगे कि उर्दू और इंग्लिश दोनों में बात करें कि क्योंकि कुछ हमारे मेहमान ऐसे हैं जो उर्दू नहीं समझते तो हम चाहते हैं कि वो भी इस महफिल से लुत्फानदोज हो सकें आप सबकी शिरकत हमारे लिए बायस मुसरत है और आपकी आमद मूसा के लिए हौसला अफजाई का बायस बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आप भी कुछ बोलें मैं भी कुछ बोलूँगा No, thank you, thank you all for coming. I know it's a busy day. Some people are celebrating Valentine outside. For us, like Muslim husbands, we are celebrating Juma Mubarak. <laughs> for singles out there, Jashn Azadi Mubarak, <laughs> Independence Day. Yes. Yes, now my turn. I have a permission. You're very brave, man. <laughs> Sorry. तो हम लोगों ने यहाँ पे कुछ एपिटाइजर्स का इंतजाम कर रखा है. As most of you have at work or school today. We also have tea to keep you caffeinated and keep you awake during the program. And I see the lovely setup of sweets and snacks with the soccer ball for the kids and for those who have a sweet tooth. Thank you, Shagufta. We are you. Thanks for the beautiful arrangement. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. So we start this program and we'll tell you a little agenda of the class. So program, I know. Okay, I don't. We don't want to be between you and the dinner, so we'll keep it short and sweet. But we'll let Yasmin introduce Musa. Then Zaid will come in the stage, and he'll welcome our Imam and our Quran teacher, Musa's Quran teacher. So he'll introduce them. Uh, after that, Musa will recite with Brother Wadi, uh, followed by the dua uh, by Imam and Brother Wadi. And after that, we'll cut the cake. And after that, we'll enjoy our. So just setting the expectations here. Or I would like to share a little experience of the Quran. It was always a challenge taking boys to the Quran class. Unlike girls, Yasmin, you were such a good kid. Thank you. But since Brother Walid has started teaching the boys, it wasn't an issue anymore. Musa always gets ready on time with a soccer ball or a basketball, but sometimes forget to take Quran with him. And one time, while I was picking up the boys, I saw them playing soccer with Brother Walid. Thank you, Brother Walid, for making it fun for them. Thanks for driving from Richardson during the rush hours every day. Thanks for your time and effort. Allah may bless you and bless your family. Amen. Yasmin, can you please? Come on. Everyone, thank you all for coming to my little brother Musa's on me. Um, Musa, I'm, older, I'm Musa's older sister, Yasmin, and I'm 10 years older than him, but even though he's 10 years younger than me, he's always been a little baby to me. And even though he's still in elementary school, he's one of the most mature people and one of the most grown-up people I have ever known. Every morning at 6 a.m., we all wake up and we're all cranky, but Musa's the only one with a smile on his face who gets ready really quietly and the fastest and is the most best dressed out of all of us. He, ne <laughs> he never manages to get out without a really fly outfit. Also, most importantly, Musa is a very good-hearted person, and he's my best friend, and I love him very much. May Allah grant him success. Amen. Assalamualaikum, everyone. I said Assalamualaikum, everyone. Thank you all for joining us tonight, and thank you to Yasmin and my beloved parents for those words. I'd like to invite up Brother Walid and our Imam. So I'm Zad, Musa's brother. Mashallah has recently finished the Quran. And so none of this would be, none of this would have happened without our Quran teacher, Brother Walid, and his dedication, and our parents and just Musa's hard work in general. 
our uh, Quran teacher, Brother Weed, mashallah, he's a hafiz, he's a doctor, and he's a proud father of six kids. And here's our Imam, Imam Sayyid of Masjid Rahman Carrollton. And he's really nice and he's always supportive. And he's always making sure to come to prayer and stay after prayer. And he also has a couple of kids who are really nice and Musa's friends as well. So, <laughs> I'd like to hand it over to Brother Lee. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah reward all of you and bless all of you for coming this, uh, joining us here in this blessed gathering. Uh, before I say anything, I would request inshallah Musa to recite first. Uh, hadith it comes more or less meaning Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in any gathering, uh, in, that, in that gathering in which the name of Allah is not taken or the salawat and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not being said will be a source of uh, sorrow that you have judgment. So inshallah we start everything. Before we do anything, we start with the recitation of the Quran, inshallah. So, I will Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen 
الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم, هم يوقنون أولئك ألا هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي بعزته وجلاله تتم الصالحات All praise are for Allah سبحانه وتعالى who help us, who guide us, who protect us, who give us tawfiq to do all the good deeds only and only from the blessing of Allah and the help of Allah without help of Allah nobody can do any good deed without the protection of Allah nobody can protect himself or herself from, or herself from the bad deeds my respected brothers and sisters in Islam this Quran is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The love of Quran is the sign of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all need to love Quran. We need, all need to have that attraction. This Quran is such a sweet thing that we have read so many books. We have read so many letters. So many books, so many letters, so many things written in the world. How much can you read a book? How often can you read 100 times, 20 times? A time will come, you said, it's enough is enough. This is the noor, the book of Allah. How old are you? I'm sorry, I forgot. How old are you? Ten years old. A ten years old child reciting Quran, coming every single day after the school, tired and reading Quran for one hour or two hours, not getting bored, not, getting a, not understanding a single word of it, but this attraction, this love of the Quran that Allah gives to each and every one of us that Allah has given to us. That's why we are here because of this. We need to inculcate and bring this love of the Quran. Because the more we love the Quran, this is a sign that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So one request for myself and all of the brothers, sisters, the kids sitting here, we need to teach Quran to our kids. And I know most of the people nowadays are doing online and all of this thing. I was just discussing with a few of the brothers now. I'm not going to take it too long, but we're discussing with a few of the brothers that the environment, this maktab coming to that environment, it has its own nur, its own barakah. I know we are not any great people or anything, we are human beings, we are 14 years away from the life of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we do have our shortcomings. But in spite of all this, that environment coming to the masjid, sitting in front of the Quran, reading Quran, it has its own nur and barakah. We need to take our kids to those environments. Alhamdulillah, besides Quran, we discuss a lot of other things. I was just discussing with the brother the other day, we were discussing about the, the, the things that Luqman salam was teaching to his son. So we talk about those things that never do, never say anyone partner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We talk about those things, we talk about the translation of Surah Al-Ikhlas. We talk about so many, in five, ten minutes, and mashallah, these kids are smart, may Allah reward them and bless them, they are smart, they, are, they catch up the things right away, they take the things right away. So my request for all the people, if they have not done so far, please teach your kids Quran. Teach them the love of Quran. This is the only time, and on the day of judgment in hadith, it comes, this Quran will intercede. The Quran is the strongest intercessor on the day of judgment, even stronger than the Anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam. That comes in the hadith. It is strongest intercessor. It will intercede in favor of those people who have fulfilled the rights of the Quran. In, in one of the narrations, it comes those people who teach Quran to their kids. On the day of judgment, in spite of they have taught Quran to their kids, they became the source of teaching Quran to their kids. This Quran will intercede in favor of those parents on the day of judgment and tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh Allah honor them. Allah will give them a special, uh, a special thing that they will put on their head. 
then this Quran will intercede oh Allah no honor them more then Allah will give them a whole cloak a whole cloth a whole covering of honor you don't know what is going to be how is it going to be but it's called the cloth the clothing the clothing of honor that Allah will give to those parents who teach their kids Quran who become the source of teaching their kids uh, become the source for their kids to teach Quran and to learn Quran. So inshallah, my final request is for myself, for all of the brothers and sisters in the sitting here, all the kids sitting here. We teach Quran, we learn Quran, we increase the love of Quran. We love those people who know Quran. This is also a sign Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi would honor those people who knew Quran. They would be the Imam, they would be the leaders. Because on so many occasions, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, especially because this person knows Quran more. So my respect, my request for all of the respected people who are here, inshallah, that this is my request for myself from this gathering. We take the love of Quran. <clears throat> Two words about Musa. Alhamdulillah, I have other kids, other students as well. But Musa is, mashallah, one of the smartest kids, alhamdulillah. I won't say smarter than the other because my other kids may get upset. But mashallah, his speed was comparatively much better. He is the student who started Qaeda with me one or two times. Uh, two times. So first time when I teach them the Qaeda, they said, no, I want to start Quran. They were not happy. I think the parents were not happy as well. I told them, no, I have my rules. I have to, I have to be comfortable that they know the Qaeda well. They taught, they read the Quran the second time. And after that, mashallah, Musa started Nazra. I think hardly one Jews I paid attention. After that, he's reading Quran by himself. Alhamdulillah. He's sitting over there, I'm listening every once in a while. Musa, you miss some. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. And mashallah, after he finished the Quran, all the rules that they learned in the Qayla, they were applying, alhamdulillah. The pronunciation improved, alhamdulillah. The Qirat rules, I didn't taught them all the rules, didn't teach them all the rules of the Qirat. But I just take, taught them to, you know, a few basic things. And mashallah, they were able to apply all those rules. So alhamdulillah, he is, uh, and he was on my team as well, my soccer team. So me and Musa, we were soccer team players as well. We are always team as well, alhamdulillah. So may Allah bless the parents. And alhamdulillah, all the people they are here, alhamdulillah, may, may Allah reward all of you. I would, uh, our Imam would say a few things, inshallah, and then we we'll go with the dua and end up, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum I would like to ask you before I, my Dr. Walid, he talked about the Quran, the benefit of Quran in the eyes of Allah, in the Akhirah, and how you want to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I would like to talk about the benefit of Quran of this now for our dunya. So if I ask you this question, who likes his son or his daughter to be a lawyer? Can you raise your hand if, you're, if you like your son or your daughter to be a doctor or engineer or lawyer? Can you raise your hand? Or no one likes? <laughs> so, let me give you an example. If, if I run every day, two, three miles, after 10 years, what do you think my health will be? Do you agree? Every day I run 10 hours, or 4 hours, or 5 hours. After 10 hours, how I look, how I will look. So think about someone who memorizes Quran, entire Quran, 604, in his brain. How his brain will function. Think about I'm, I, I swear, he will be the best in math, in science, in his all subjects. When he memorized the Quran in early hours of his inshallah time. So if you like your son or your daughter to be a doctor, to be an engineer, to be a lawyer, make him or her memorize the Quran. If you do that, it's guaranteed he will be smartest. Because he memorized how many pages? What do you think his brain will function? If I run three hours, I get health. But if I memorize entire Quran, my brain will not function right away. Beside Akhirah, beside you will be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your son, your daughter will be smart. Inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. 
بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم رب اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect, protect us from all kind of evils May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us those who are in touch with the Quran May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the Quran our shafi in the day of Qiyamah insha'Allah ta'ala May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and the family of class Musa and his brother and his sister. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them with the coming of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rabbil khir wa rahamu wa anta khayru rahimeen. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi.